Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the JavaScript CSS tips and tricks tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to add a auto sequence numbers, the column to an existing HTML table. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output of our application. Notice this is auto sequence number. We have added the new employee now named Ben 1500. So if you notice here in, a, in our code, we don't have any numbers 1, 2, 3. This is the auto sequence numbers generated. Suppose I'm con, I'm adding another new row. So we got two columns. If you check here in the output, we have five uh, employee details here. Now when I reload, I want to display again one more con and the auto sequence number will be increased to 6. See here, con is added because we have just copied and pasted. For this video tutorial, I am using Visual Studio Code. First, let's open our folder which is a JavaScript iPhone tutorials. And here, at, uh, our folder is added to the VS Explorer. Let me expand this folder. Now inside this folder, I will create one HTML file called auto sequence, auto sequence uh, table.htm and here we got the newly created HTML file is open. Let me minimize this VS Explorer as well as welcome page and close it. Now let's write the coding part. First let's add the doc type, doc type HTML, I'm closing the HTML element then I'm adding the header section, header section, let's add the body tag, body. Now inside this body, I'm adding one center element, center, h1, how to add a, add a auto sequence, auto sequence, auto sequence number to an existing table existing table after that i am adding one horizontal line then i am adding one table element table which contains one id we require the id for the javascript my table my table inside this table i am adding t head t head and the t head will add table rows and the table rows will add td first table headers let's add the table headers t h table headers first column uh, let's add that instead of uh, column employee name employee name second th is the salary and the third th is the city now if you notice in this table contains three columns employee name salary and city which are the table headers now I am adding another T body. In this T body, I am adding the same thing T R small T. This is a small T, and this is also small T. Now T D T D the first data of the employee name, which is our um, Charan. Let's add my name Charan, then T D. Salary is around 50,000. Now, another TD, another TD, city is the Hyderabad. After that, I am adding another TR, copy this one, paste here, paste here, and paste here. Just for the demo purpose, I am adding four employee details 45,000. And the name I'm changing to um, Lalita instead of Hyderabad, I'm adding Lucknow. The third one is Khan, and he is getting around 32,000. He is from Delhi. And the fourth one is a Peter. And TD is around uh, 28,000 and this guy is from Hyderabad only. I am not changing the city. Now if you notice here in this table contains three columns, employee name, salary and city, which contains some employee details. 
But if you notice, there is no any sequence numbers, one, two, three, four, like that. But I want to add those sequence numbers to this existing table using a JavaScript. So after the center, I'm adding one script element inside the script element variable table is equals to document dot get element by id this id what we need to add a table id which we have added here this one copy this one table id and paste here then we require the rows of the table the tables are from tr so table dot get element by tag name get element by tag name table rows tr then i'm defining one sequence here i say q is equals to starting number is one after that for loop for variable i is equals to one notice here i'm adding one not zero i'm adding one i is less than rows dot length rows dot length length i plus plus then variable cell i want to create a cell tds which are the tds this variable cell document dot create element you need to create the tds element i'm creating the td inside this td we have uh, inside this tr we record the td just like here inside this tr we record the td now this column first we need to increment this uh, cell dot text content is equals to sequence plus plus now this column the newly created column i want to appear at the first at the first column so rows i dot insert before insert before cell rows i dot first chain dot first chain that's it we have done the javascript functionality it's a very few lines and um, yes so for leap packets have closed now let's add some style here um, style table border 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 collapse let's add the collapse and uh, and after that we require the th table headers and table data so th and td padding 8 pixels 8 pixels we require the border is um, 1 pixel solid line solid table lines is um, black that's at the black color text align i'm making center that's it that's it we have done the complete coding part and what else we have let's add the ph ph which are the table headers i'm adding background color is black and the color of the text color of the text is white that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file we'll check the final output of our application for that we need to open the file explorer the folder i have created in the e drive and the folder name is a javascript hyphen tutorials this is our folder inside this folder the table uh, the file name is a auto sequence table let's open that one and notice here the employee name shall density this is the auto sequence number is created by when you we forgot to add the header so what we'll do is we'll add here table header auto sequence auto sequence number this is a new column header for this for this and now what i'll do is i will add one more column here one more column you can add anywhere in the table body uh, this one is a band let's have the fifteen thousand, and this guy is from um, calcutta 
Now let's save this file. We'll check the output again. Go to switch over to the browser. Now after our modifications, I added this new header column. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the final output of our application. Notice this is auto sequence number. We have added the new employee now named Ben 1500 Calcutta. So if you notice here in, a, in our code, we don't have any numbers. One, two, three. This is the auto sequence numbers generated. Suppose I'm con, I'm adding another new row. So we got two columns. If you check here in the output, we have five uh, employee details here. Now, when I reload, I want to display again one more con, and the auto sequence number will be increased to six. See here, con is added because we have just copied and pasted. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to add an auto sequence number to an existing HTML table. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe, share and leave your valuable comment. We will catch you in my next video tutorial.